Hey guys, and welcome back to Sin Survival. This is episode nine. Now, uh, I have rec I had recorded some footage before. I did do a bit of caving, and unfortunately, I had no sound, which is weird. Uh, I think my microphone might have been muted, so it was my fault. Um, I, ha I do have some good footage of it. So I found a few dungeons, and in one of in one dungeon chest, I found a, a record, uh, a, a silk touch enchanted. Uh, book and an infinity enchanted book and i was ecstatic about that uh yeah i yeah unfortunately that's there's no sound on that and it's it wasted i'll probably i'll show it now uh so you can see what was in that chest um but yeah unfortunately it was uh it, i was ecstatic and yeah nothing <laughs> it was two i found two um two spider dungeons uh no melon seeds and that's a real pain that's a real pain I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm gonna go searching because I want to go fight the Wither soon, uh, and that's what I've sort of this is, that's what this episode is gonna be about. So I'm gonna go do a bit more caving, uh, look for uh, either a mine shaft, another dungeon. Hopefully we will get some melon seeds. I think that's the fourth or fifth dungeon I've been into with chests and nothing. Uh, oh, actually I just thought of something. What about villages? Villages have, uh, I think they have either melons or melon seeds. Um, yeah okay well actually i've got one thing i want to do before i go over this so I'll, I'll double check the wiki before i do that but i'd like to show you what i've done so far so i'll just put these back in here so silk touch goes web, uh, with tools and infinity goes with uh weapons and i'll just oh, actually that uh, sorry, and it's diamond armor this is something i made with my 30 levels uh, what I, what I, which i had so i got protection four and thorns too so that's pretty amazing so i'm pretty happy with that um so I'm just going to go back and chuck in that uh, record uh, so I don't take it with me. It's not my favorite record. It's um, it's a bit of an eerie sound. And yeah, I like cats or something more upbeat, especially when I'm playing Minecraft. So as I went through, that's my piston door. Works brilliantly now. And as I was going through, I think in the piston, epi piston door episode, I was making the uh, redstone lamps and so what i've done is i've put the redstone lamps in uh, and i've actually created a redstone line all the way under here so i'll pull out this one i believe so i have a, a lever here so that turns on and off and there's literally a redstone signal that comes through that block into this uh redstone here and powers this redstone and then this comes through oops i gotta get rid of that one and this one powers this one. Now, the reason that block is there is so it cuts off this redstone. So as you can see, it's joined now. But if I put that block back, it's no longer joined. And that allows for the power from this redstone to go into this block, allowing to light the um, to light the redstone lamp right there. And as you can see, without that, it doesn't become lit. So yes, there we go. And that doesn't work. And there it's lit again. But I'll just take that out for now because I'm going to go back along. So essentially, I've got redstone all the way through here and you can just see every every spot there is a redstone lamp there's just a little bit of redstone that goes into that to those blocks and it goes all the way up there all the way out there and then all the way down there so this is towards the automatic wheat farm that's towards back towards the house and then that's up towards the hill uh, and I've got torches down here so I can easily come back down here and nothing spawns down here I may have to move them uh, oops sorry I may have to move them down to here uh, so that you can't see the little flame those the little smoke patches coming out because I noticed I saw it over there but I'll see how that goes that that really doesn't bother they bother me that much but I'll probably I might get annoyed at that and come and fix that later on. Okay, so that's in there. It's it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with, with how it's working. Um, what I will do is I'll just fill this hole back in before I go any further. So I can't put one there because that'll block that signal. So I can put one there and I can put two of these back here. And that grass will grow back over. Uh, so yes, and it's easily extendable. As you saw, I had repeaters down there. So I can just keep going up this way and keep going that way. And by having it here... Um, I can also just input a, a daylight sensor really easily and that'll work brilliantly um, and as you can see down here I, this used to be all open under here but now what I've, I've done is I've I've fixed it so uh, I'll fix it I've, I've changed it so that actually this is this block uh, spot in the middle and then another block and 
actually, I probably should show this. Actually, while I'm here, I will show this. Uh, so essentially, uh, got rid of the torch there. All right, well, I'll come out here then. So what I had is, I put it in here, and then so it looks like it's all solid, but it's actually not. So there's a, there's plenty of room there with this design to allow for that to come up, and it doesn't look like it from the outside because this is originally where the um where the pillars were so i've just extended the pillars out and made it sort of an indent pattern i actually quite like it it's come out quite nice sorry guys that's better um so yes i'm really really happy with that and essentially yeah, it's, it's easily extendable and what what i have realized is i actually need to put go a bit further and where the road meets the wall that's where another uh, redstone lamp goes but again it's really it's really quite easy to do and I'll probably just do that off camera because uh, that's not what I want to get to today. So as I was saying before, I'd like to fight the wither and I have uh, 64, I have a stack of iron blocks and I think another 60 blocks. That's 124 blocks that I currently have. Uh, and with that 124 blocks, I only need 131 with the, with the design I'm going to need. Uh, so I'm going to build a full... Uh, a full full four level pyramid starting from the nine by nine then seven by seven uh five by five and then three by three levels on top of each other and i've got a good selection of uh gold and emerald and diamond so as you can see i got one two three four and five so there's one more in the middle there uh with with emeralds i think i've got uh i'll move out here it's a bit easier to see uh i've got the three and there's four of them except i'm missing one so i just need one more emerald block which i think i should be able to get by trading with villagers or just having a look underground uh, and seeing what i can get uh and i only need 12 of 12 emeralds and i need 16 blocks of gold uh, so I'll easily have this here because I think it's 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 4, uh, which is 22. So I have 22 blocks of gold, so I'll easily be uh, well above what I need for that. So essentially all I'm really missing is a bit of emerald and a bit of, a bit of iron. So I will, um, I'm will. i going to go searching, but I will grab... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab some wheat uh, and grab uh, maybe an... Actually, I think hopefully one, of, one or two of the... Um, one or two of the farmers in a village are definitely going to take wheat, I'm hoping. And then they'll give me a melon as a trade, and that'll make my life easy. Because I really wanted to get uh, a melon or melon seeds while um, before I go to the, before I kill the wither boss. Just because uh, I have the regeneration potion, which is going to be... I will have a regeneration potion, which will be great. But I just want to have enough. Um, I guess I want it as a backup. I want it as a backup. Uh, just in case I end up not living. <laughs> uh, or I take a bit of damage when I don't expect to. Um, so, yeah. So, that's why I really want the melons. Just so I can build a, an instant health potion. And make it into a splash potion as well. So, uh, the village is over there. I probably... I might speed it up. Or I might just cut over there um, when I get there. So, alright guys. I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, now I'm back. Uh, so this is a, <laughs> a village right next to the temple. I have already explored it. Uh, I found some gold. I think I might have found a diamond or two um, and some iron. So yeah, I, that was that was pretty good and it was nice and close to, to home. So that was pretty awesome. I have just thought that I might be too close. Oh no, 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 no. There is some villagers here. So he wants some wool for some... For an emerald, uh, I should have brought wool. I have heaps of wool. I actually even thought about that before I uh, before I left, but unfortunately I didn't do anything about it, so that will suck. I may have to come back. Okay, well there's no door here, so some zombies might have come and said hello. Um, the sun's about to go down. Oh no, there's lots of villagers down here. So you want cooked fish? Exactly what I didn't want you to have. You still want the wool? You might be the same person. Ah, here we go. So I went one, two, three. Uh, can I trade even more? 
Oh, I can too. Well, I'm just going to keep trading until he says he doesn't want to take any of my stuff. Okay, so he's now full of everything. Um, so now he's got the no trade. Now he wants wool. Okay. Uh, so, oh God, everyone wants wool. <laughs> so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to set a bed up in here. And I might make myself, I'll just sleep and I'll come back in a second, guys. All right, guys, now I'm back. Uh, so I got seven emeralds out of that, so that was pretty good. Uh, these guys are flipping the doors like crazy. Let's just set, check that down, down a bit more. There we go. Oh, well, there's, there's plenty of people around now that it's daytime. So what do you like? You want emeralds for flint and steel, or maybe I'll come back for that later. You want fish. I haven't I haven't been through any of the trades here. You want gravel for flint? Uh, I don't think so. You want gold for that, for emeralds. Wool. I am seriously regretting not bringing any wool. <laughs> well, worst, um, worst comes to worst, I can always head back and, and use it. Now... Which ones I haven't I looked at yet? Wool. That's actually not bad. 14. Fish. I don't want to go get fish because fish are a real pain in the ass. <laughs> um, the other one I traded with already. So what did you want? You wanted 16 wool. Yeah. We'll see how you go. I'm fairly sure that villagers only take three, uh, only have three trades maximum. And now that you can't exploit uh, what, what a villager has to offer. Ooh, I haven't had a look at this guy. What has he got? Books for well, that's not too bad. I guess with my endless supply of uh, of leather, that uh, that's pretty good. Endless supply. I have a very large supply at the moment. Nothing in the blacksmith. Is there? Oh, I haven't. Yeah, I have been here. I've already checked that. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna have to run back home and pick up some wool. I think I'll just double check that there's no one here that wants anything. No wool. Still wool, actually. I have iron, so I can actually go make, uh, I can go make some, yeah, everyone, wa everyone wants wool. I think that, that's a first for me, that everyone wanted wool at the same time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shears, and I know I have three shears, I think, at home already, but I never seem to leave home when I need them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back over, where I have lots and lots of sheep, and I'm going to go shear them, and I'm going to come back. So, I'll be with you guys in a second. Okay, guys, now I am back. Uh, it's now daytime. Uh, I've gone shearing mad. <laughs> uh, I got I got a pretty good amount of wool, so I'm going to try to see what the villagers have for me now. So you're not the one I want to speak to. No, get out of the way. Uh, what have you got? No, you're not the one. Uh, it's not as hot. It's too high. I want to try one of the lower ones first uh, and see what I get. Um, uh, 14. Yep, yeah, let's do you. Uh, yep. Yep. Now, if I give you black wool, will you still give it to me? Oh, cool. Okay. Do you have new... Uh, maybe I have to trade him out of it. Um, let's see. Wow. Okay. Okay, so now he's done. So I go back... Oh, he's not got it yet. Okay. Oh, no. He, now he's got his transmogrification and stuffy on him. Wait for it... I think that means that he's getting new trades or he's unavailable for trade, maybe. That's what it might be. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Give me a new trade. Okay, we'll go somewhere else then. What have you got for me? Uh, actually, you know what? I've got heaps of, heaps of emeralds now, so I'll give you one of them. Two of them? Okay. That's enough of that. It's very expensive flint and steel, you know that. Nope. You want 14 wool? Gimme, gimme. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to make it up, but I just can't, so... That's essentially what I can do. You got new trades? No. Okay, so unfortunately these guys don't have any any trades that I really want at the moment. Uh, I think that's everyone. That's Oh, no, he's got something now. And what for bread? Okay. I'll give you that and I'll take some bread off you. Now get a melon. No. Oh, okay. No, I can't do that anyway. No, he's not willing to trade. Not willing to trade. As I use willing to trade, but I don't have what he wants. Um. Okay. What have you got? No, you're still books, aren't you? Fish. 
Alrighty, well, that's kind of a bit of a downer. Um, I was hoping to get something. I was hoping more of them would have taken this wheat. Um, let's go find these guys. What have you got? No, you, ooh, you got something. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, guys, so that is melons. Okay, so obviously you, you can't plant the melon, but what you can plant is the melon seeds, and you get one lot of melon seeds per melon. So I'm going to call that a... A successful day. I'm going to call that a successful day. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. We'll see what else is going. Oh no, that's what. Oh now, now we got fish. Okay, cool. So, sorry about that. Um, wow. Okay, wow. I I got that a lot quicker than I was expecting. I was expecting to have to do this for the next sort of three or four days <laughs> to get it uh, without being able to find it. So pretty much all I'm waiting on now is because I've got another emerald block there. All I'm waiting on now is the last bit of iron. So what I might do is I might go a bit of, do a bit of caving uh, and I'll see what I what I get. Uh, obviously, if I find if I have, uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> obviously I'll try to find uh, some good stuff and if I I'll sort of keep my camera rolling. Uh, so if I do find anything good, then I'll put it in. Uh, but what I'll do now is I'll cut back. Oh, I can't even sprint. I don't know why. Uh, I'll cut back to the base, and from there we'll um, we'll plant in some uh, in some melon seeds and get them going. All right, guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. Now I'm back. So uh, as you can see, I have planted all my pumpkins. And there's an extra pumpkin here. Uh, and there's 10 spots here, so I'm going to get rid of 5, so I'm going to get rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get my pumpkin, oh sorry, my melon, and I'm going to get my 5 seeds. Excellent. Melon seeds, yeah. Plant my melon seeds, and to speed up the growth rate, oop, I can't hit it with a bone, i got to hit it with bone meal. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm surprised I just used three. Well, that's great. Anyway, so now, yeah, they all look like they all look the same, but I'll probably put a sign up saying melons this way, pumpkins that way. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because they all output the same thing, or they all output under this one here. I'll be able to see that anyway after they come back. So, yes, that's what I was planning to do with that. And pumpkin seeds go up there. Uh, I'll probably put the line of. Um, of melons here when I get them when I get them growing in. Now, as you can see, I've got some raw fish. So I think the, for the last thing of this episode, I'm going to go and get a ocelot or tame an ocelot so I have a cat or two to keep the creepers at bay. Because um, I have some dogs and well, you know they always need some friends. And I was I like a, I like cats. I have two cats. So um, yes. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to go find some cats and. Um, I guess I'll show you where I'm going. Where am I going? I'm going upstairs. Because that's where I'm going to see where everything is. Um, can I see over this wall? I can. Okay. So past this uh, forest here, there is a jungle over there. It's a little bit of a trick. And I have been there before just to have a look around uh, while I was looking at my world. So I'll, uh, I'll head over there and I'll come back in just a second. All right, guys. See you soon. Okay guys, now I'm back again, so as you can see, the jungle is just coming into view. Um, ooh, a ravine. I'll come back. Ooh, look at that. A bit, of, a bit of iron. I need a few more bits of iron, so I'll come back for that when I'm coming back with my cats. Because they don't take fall damage, which is awesome. Um, have I been here? Yeah, I've been in that one. Yeah, I have been here before and had a look through that. So, let's go over here and see how we go. What I will do before I get too close is I'll bring out my my fist just in case. So uh, so essentially, yeah, what I'm going to be looking for is uh, an ocelot or two. Actually, I'd prefer to get two if I can, so I can bring both back and breed them so I have a third, just like I have the dogs. Um, that way, in case one disappears, I always have uh, another two, so I don't have to keep coming back to the jungle and finding more ocelots. But ocelots are very skittish, unfortunately. So, yes. Oh, there's planes over there. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm hoping to not generate too much map. So I have, uh, when horses come out 1.6, I'll have plenty of room to explore around now. Let's hope to find an ocelot. They are quite hard to find. But, or maybe not too hard to find, but they're definitely 
uh, difficult to find, especially because of the way a jungle is set out. It's uh, very hilly and just just not very very nice to get around in. Oh, that didn't work like I've landed at all. Oh, fails on camera. Fails on camera. Now I may uh, I might just skip around and see what I get at the moment because it might take me a while to find an ocelot. So I'll leave the camera rolling. Oh, that was not probably what I probably should have done, but yes, I'll uh, I'll be back when I find something good. Okay, guys. So I've um. I've been searching in this jungle for a long time now, probably about half an hour, 45 minutes. And the fact that there's all these chickens around leads me to believe that there are no ocelots in this jungle, at least at the moment. Uh, so there's another jungle over that way, so the, my house is about there-ish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to that jungle over there, and I'm going to go uh, and see if I can find an ocelot there. Otherwise, I'm going to go home and I'll have to save this for another day. Alrighty, guys, I'll be with you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, now I'm back. Uh, it took me a long time to get over here. Uh, probably a full 10 minutes of, of walking. Um, or running, sorry. I probably should have brought a speed potion with me or two. But that's okay. Uh, so, um, let's pull out my fish and we'll have, we'll get to, we'll, yeah, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to finding some ocelots hopefully. Um, yeah, so I pretty much, I walked through another extreme hills biome over there and wow it's uh yeah i like extreme hills because that's got all the uh all the good stuff for us um i'm hoping ocelots will spawn straight away if not um i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do i'll probably end up having to go home uh and i'll wait around the other one that's a bit closer the other jungle that is it's a bit closer um but yeah so i'll probably come back if i see anything exciting the uh those little co 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 um, cocoa beans or cocoa pods really... Oh, there's one. Right there. Come on, little kitty. Come on. Now, you got to be careful because you have to let them approach you. you got to get close enough for them to sense the fish. I don't think they'll be able to see it through blocks. And they'll just keep walking away from me. Right. I don't want to make too many sudden movements because that will frighten it off. Come on. Stop walking away. Alright, well, obviously I'm moving around too much, so as you can see, they run away. Uh, they run away from me, so... Yeah, let's see if I can get in a good position to bring it to me. Come on, I got fish. I got fish. I got fish. I think it's, oh, there we go, here we go, okay, okay, come on, come on, little kitty, yo, oh, first one, good kitty, yes, now you're an, a tabby cat, should I call you tabs, or tabbers, meow, yeah, hello, hello, alright, let's go see if we can find you a brother or sister, no, that's, no, I'm going to breed them, so they're not going to be brothers or sisters, let's go see if I can find you a companion, there we go. Ooh, that's a big ravine. And as I said before, cats don't take um, don't take fall damage. Oh, there! Wow, there we go. Straight away, I found a second one. Yes. Get close enough to it. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm scaring it off. Now, hopefully, the zombie doesn't come and mess this whole bit up. Come on, kitty. Got another. Come on. There you go. That's right. Come to me. Come to sin. Oh, second. Wow, that is amazing. 
Okay, so you're a, I think that's a Siamese cat, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what I want to call you yet. We'll, we'll find out something. Okay, so now I have my two cats. Uh, I'm going to call that here. It's about to come dark, so I'm going to bring out my bed in a minute and sleep. Uh, there's a bit of iron back here that I wanted to grab, so I'm going to go back and grab that, and then I'll uh, I'll head back and I'll go, I'll meet you back at the fortress. All right, guys, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, guys, now I'm back. So <laughs> I bred the little kitty cat, and look at this little tabby cat. He's so cute. Um, so, yeah, the other tabs is just here. Warming her face on the stairs, I suppose. Um, and yes, I haven't got a name for this one yet. I'll probably think of one soon, but yes. No, don't go outside. You have to sit. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> they all want to get on the chest. Maybe I'll make another chest for them to sit on. Chest galore. Chest, chest galore. Get up here. Can I go jump on the chest too? Come on, go jump on the chest. Don't go outside, go jump on the chest. Okay. Yeah, there you go. She found her chest that she wants to sit on. There's kitty cats everywhere. Okay, now everything stay. Okay, guys, um,. So I'll call that an episode here. Uh, I got my two cats here and my little baby one. There we go. So if you like what I've done in this episode today, please give me a like. Um, and if you want to leave me a comment to say things I've done wrong, I could do better, uh, the, or even if you just like the episode, uh, that'd be great. And um, yeah, if you'd like to see more episodes from me, please subscribe to my channel as it helps it. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. Sin out.